Okay, this Starbucks you can't sit in. So I need to find somewhere else. That's weird. Okay. Okay, 10 minutes down the road is another Starbucks. So they close at eight and it's now 6 p.m. So I'm gonna go in there. I have in and out for dinner and I'm going to park back here, right over here. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm parking at Cracker Barrel. Oh my God. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go down to the end and eat my in and out burger because I feel like being naughty. And then I will move my van, it's only 8.30. I'll move my van later to park in the back. But for now, I think I can just park right back here and eat my food. Yeah, right by the freeway. So I don't think anyone cares. There's a bunch of freaking tweakers down here. <laughs> North, Las, North Las Vegas. A lot of animated people. A lot of people that are pretty antsy about stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it's like every conversation, I feel like I should be hopping on one foot when I'm talking to someone. I'm like, okay, great. So I like hop to the left, hop to the right. You know, it's like, all I'm asking is, you know, what time is it? <laughs> so it is, you know, it's a different breed down here, but it's the desert. It's kind of like the 909 you know California anyway I lived in California for 10 years and I went to high school there in the 90s so okay well thank you saltine bucket I am parking I'm gonna watch some YouTube and eat my food and I'll get up super early tomorrow I gotta find a planet fitness around here so all right well okay I also gotta get gas I'm very low on gas and it's 4 35 up here that's ridiculous so there's a Terry blaze and this is terrible it's Terry blaze which also has a casino in the gas station. So I'm gonna get gas early in the morning and I'm gonna get up and I don't know if I'm gonna run at the gym. I might just take a shower. So, all right, well, thank you. Good to be back, Vegas. <laughs> it's gonna be, this week is gonna be a shit show. I gotta go do some important stuff back in Houston. So it'll be good to be home. Uh, got Harriet, so we're gonna do our thing, make our little videos for YouTube on her little meme channel that's actually getting like 10,000 views I can't believe like she's actually doing better than me <laughs> so you know always when you get you know stood up by your 11 year old but she's far more creative anyway what is that is that a I, I never know if like if that's a rocket that looks like a rocket it looks like Starlink <laughs> Starlink I don't know Starbase SpaceX that's it yeah, that looks like a, a rocket's taking off. Well, I have Wi-Fi, so I can Google it. I'm so out of touch. Like when the Falcon, the Falcon took off, um, all the people in Quartzite were like, look, it's the rocket. <laughs> it looked like it was on, like it was drunk. It was just kind of going left and right constantly, like not in a straight line. I don't know which one that is. I thought rockets are supposed to go straight up. I don't think they're supposed to go left and toward uh, Lake Havasu. <laughs> anyway, all right dinner time I got a chocolate milkshake a double double and animal style fries good morning from lost wages <laughs> Las Vegas I'm heading to planet fitness I've got to take a shower I was gonna work out but I'm tired <laughs> so it's my day off I've had a pretty busy week um, so yeah and then after that I'm gonna go at 11 a.m. over to the Mirage oh, I cannot tell you yet okay um, all right let me figure out where to park this is nice, you know, North North Las Vegas, a little, little sketchy. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, but uh, everything you need is up here. So um, I actually would like some breakfast. I think I'm gonna get, when I get over to the Mirage, I'm gonna go park um, right after I'm done with the shower, I'll go down there. I think I'll just go hang out in the, uh, go get some breakfast. I had this really good restaurant actually, a little um, bistro, breakfast bistro at the Mirage. So I'm going around in circles. A breakfast bistro at the Mirage um, that uh, had a really good fruit salad. I mean, it was like 20 bucks, but <laughs> you know, granted it was like, you know, vital organs. But anyway, so there's the Encore and the Wynn. So I'm at the top of the strip. Uh, I am uh, heading to the link to go park for a few hours and then I'm going to walk over to the Mirage, which I will show you why <laughs> I'm going to the Mirage. I'm going to meet my friend who, um, is a set designer for one of the shows and I'm hoping I can get backstage so we will see show doesn't go on till tonight but I'm going to the airport about 9 p.m. I'm just gonna be at the uh, probably be at a library in Vegas the rest of today I've got a lot of admin stuff to do um, since I'll be sleeping at the airport tonight and getting on the plane about 5 15 uh, tomorrow morning so I already checked in I think I'm the first one that checked in again so yeah so just going down here and uh, gonna go park yeah it takes about 
40 minutes to go two miles in Vegas. <laughs> the traffic is horrible. There's also a National Atomic Testing Museum that I might go check out. I had no idea that there were atomic bombs here. I mean, technically, like nobody ever targets Vegas. I mean, look at all the money. <laughs> so, anyway, okay, there's the link. There's the, um, the terrifying Ferris wheel, which I've never been on. I don't even know if I want to go on it. It's so windy today. But anyway, so there's, um, let's see, we've got Hilton, we got Planet Hollywood, we got the uh, Caesars Palace, Cosmopolitan, Platinum, uh, the Horseshoe. I don't know what these are. I miss Buffalo Bills. If you've ever been to Vegas and you were in Vegas like 12, 13 years ago, Buffalo Bills with Cookie Jar and Fat Elvis. It was, was like two dollar margaritas. It was so good and it was right on the strip and they, they knocked it down. It was right next to Haraz. So they knocked it down and made something else. But yeah, my British friends and I used to go there all the time when I'd come into Vegas. It was like so divey. Oh my god. And it smelled like the 70s. But anyway. Okay, so yeah. Um, it's really windy today. I'm hoping the plane takes off tomorrow morning. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. Let me go over to park by the link and I'll go over to the Mirage. So this parking lot is $18 for 24 hours during the week, and I think it's $23 uh, on the weekend. So people actually do stay in their camper vans here. I haven't, I mean, I have my places that I stay. So yes, yeah, so let me, um, let me go here for a second. Hang on one second. Okay, the self-parking has gone up. So it's Monday through Wednesday, $20 which is fine. Okay, so let's go down here. For some reason, I went out the other exit and it was $150 when I was here back in March. So let's see, press for ticket. Okay, so I got my ticket. So I'm only gonna be here for a few hours, but $20 to park on the strip. And literally like you're within walking distance to all of the casinos. So, um, okay, cool. All right, so let me go find some sunny parking. There's so many vans here. I know that they're totally staying. I mean, $20 a night in Vegas, stay in your van, pretty good deal. But I don't think anyone checks. I mean, it's 24 hours, so they're not gonna know, really. I mean, I'm not really, I don't advocate like doing shit that's illegal, but if you can stay for 24 hours, you might as well stay for 24 hours. You can stay in your van. I don't think anyone cares whatsoever. So anyway, um, yeah, let me just go down here. I just wanna be in the sun kind of off to the side. Yeah, pretty secure. So uh, it's, again, just like Van City over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. I'm just gonna park down by these fancy sprinters. Looks like a whole family. Uh, I don't wanna, uh, I don't have the bikes on the back, so I'm good. So maybe I will just park right here. That's fine. Okay, cool. All right, <laughs> so there we go. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get uh, my sweater on. I gotta put my, it's, it's like beautiful weather, but it's also like kind of cold. So I've got about 45 minutes. I'm gonna do a quick thing on my computer and then I will um, head over there. All right, this is the Link parking lot. Usually it's a bit busier, but it's a Tuesday. There's tons of vans and you can park here overnight for, oh, wow, that's crazy. Oh, that's just a passenger van. I guess they got hit. Oh wow, that whole window's gone. <laughs> that's not very um, reassuring. Anyway, but yeah, so here's proof. Let me just make sure my doors are locked. And I'm gonna go into the Mirage because I'm gonna go visit my friend who uh, is a set designer for Beatles Love. And I got my Beatles shirt on, I look like a dork. And um, yeah, so there's lots of vans here. It's $20 Monday through Wednesday, $25 the rest of the week for 24 hours. So a lot of people actually stay here in their campers, um, which I mean, <laughs> bargain price. I mean, you can pay $39 for a hotel in Vegas and literally like, I'm gonna go check my van again for some reason, I'm paranoid. Um, yeah, it's like $39 hotel, but then you pay $150 resort fee. And it's kind of ridiculous. It's like, yeah, it's cheap to get a hotel in Vegas, but they tack on all this other stuff and you end up paying $150 a night. So it's better to pay 20. <laughs> Um, and what's great is you can walk to all of the, uh, the big fun casinos, like the Venetian, Caesars, um, what else do we have? Flamingo, we got the uh, Bellagio. I usually stay at Caesars or MGM Grand, um, but then you're also right by the link and you can go 
go on this first wheel. It opens at noon. So I might go on the high roller. Um, but first I need to go find a restroom. <laughs> so my toilet's full in my van. And there's nowhere I can adequately dump it out right now. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I'm just going to be um, going over to the Mirage for a few hours. And then uh, heading to the airport at 9 p.m. But I'm going to go find a library because I need to just, yeah, I'll do some work on my computer. Um, anyway, okay, cool. Well, I will see you uh, a little bit later. It's so weird being here when there's nobody around. It is Tuesday about 10.45 a.m. The Yard House. My brother opened the Yard House uh, 25, 26 years ago, I think, when, um, when there's only one location in Long Beach, California. And it's so weird seeing them all over the place now. Okay, so let's walk through the promenade here over to the Mirage. find a bathroom no idea okay there's Caesars and next to that on the left is uh, Bellagio and then we have the Mirage down there so I think I can cross here and just walk through and then down there you've got <laughs> Trump Tower Treasure Island and then over here you've got the link which used to be the uh, not the Tropicana I think the Flamingo because now they've got a Flamingo Mall so yeah this used to be the old Flamingo and then down there you've got Cosmopolitan, the old, um, what was it, uh, the old Buffalo Bills, and then past the Cosmopolitan you've got the Aria, and then there was a hotel they built that was actually slanted that they, I think they demolished um, because it was into code. And then way down there you've got like the um, New York, New York, Paris, um, which ones are going to remember, MGM Grand. Uh, I'll put a map on the on the screen and you can see all the casinos on the strip. So there's a lot. I mean, you know, it's, it's funny. It's like Vegas for like my British friends and foreigners is like this magical place you go to maybe one time. And me, I'm like, oh, I've been there like 32 times. The last time I was here in November, they had the, um, what was it? The Formula One race. They had it all set up, which was a disaster. <laughs> so, okay. So yeah, I'm going to walk over, over here. Cool. All right. <laughs> Beautiful day though, not too hot. So I can't believe the Beatles love show is ending in June. I've seen it twice. It was different each time. They added and took out some things. Alright, I'm at Caesars, so um, on the other episode you'll be able to see the um, behind the scenes of Beatles Love. I'm still blown away, so I'm just going to walk around for a little bit, um, stretch my legs uh, since it's only like 12.30. So I'm going to go up on these uh, <laughs> very strange escalators that kind of curve around and fancy, fancy restaurants, people in tuxedos. It's 12.30 in the morning on a Tuesday, <laughs> so a little bit too early for this. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up and walk around the shops for a bit, maybe get something to eat. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I paid $20 for the van to park there, so I might as well get my, my money's worth and then um, head out to the library for a couple hours. So yeah, I think I'll just be at the library until they close. Very exciting day. <laughs> I've been to Vegas like a hundred times, so sorry, it's not very exciting, captivating content. Um, but I have been here a lot and, you know, I'm not here with anybody right now. Um, Everyone I know is working or not traveling, so they're home. So I'm just kind of killing time. Yeah, I'll go check out that toy uh, store as well. Maybe get something for Harriet. I uh, got her a few chocolate bars. I didn't really get her anything else um, on this leg of the trip because I went to the same place as I've already been. So she's already got the Mighty Five t-shirts and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go check out, no access. Okay, I'm gonna go check out that toy shop over there. And then I think I'm gonna walk around. And maybe, yeah, I'm gonna go get her a few gifts. Um, there's a really cool, like, uh, another store that has, like, keychains and, like, donut magnets and things. Um, so I might check that out. I think it's over here. Okay, now I'm walking through Caesars with my $1 water from uh, Starbucks. They charge you here. And my present from uh, the Beatles tour. And yeah, just, you know, coming through here. I've been here a lot. So just gonna walk all the way to the end and then turn around and walk all the way back. Um, I don't need anything and I'm flying out so can't really take anything home with me. 
I didn't really find anything in that store for Harriet, um, so I'm going to go look around to see if there's anything else around here. Um, and then I think that's it. So I'm going to go back to that promenade uh, on the way back to Link, where the uh, van is at, because they have a bunch of other like cool like kid stores there as well that I might uh, find something that she would like. So yeah, um, she had a lot of testing for school, so this is kind of like her post-testing treats. I need to get for her so you know for a job well done okay walking through I'm gonna find like a pretzel or something I'm kind of hungry and then I'll walk through the promenade for a bit um, I've never been to the one at the Venetian I think that's too far to walk from here but that's also another one that's really cool um, that has like I think they have the gondolas as well but yeah they've got like art over here they've got shoes and uh, more clothing I don't I don't shop though <laughs> So, I'm not a big shopper. Only like if I need something, I just get it on Amazon. Okay, let's check out this store. This is kind of more her vibe. Let's see what they have. They've got Mac and Squeeze. That sounds disgusting. And uh, yeah, let me see if they've got anything she might like. Chippendales and cowboy hats, tans and like no shirt. And they're like, come here and give us a hug. I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> I gotta go back to my van. That is how dedicated I am to van life. I'm not even gonna stop and give a hot guy a hug. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, they're actually quite quite easy on the eyes. So I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so, um, all right. So they've got fish and chips there. It looks dreadful, absolutely horrible. Actually, they've got crepes and gelato. Let me see, maybe there's something. I just want something easy to eat, like very sweet and stuff. Let's see what they have. They've got croissants, donuts, macaron macarons. Uh, I don't see any gelato. Oh, they have gelato down here. Do I want gelato? No, I don't. All right, that's now on gelato. Uh, yeah, so I guess the Flamingo is still a hotel. I don't know what the link was. Not the Tropicana, that's way down the other end. I love sugar. Okay, maybe I get some more chocolate for Harriet. I don't know. It's like, she's like me, we don't like candy, we only like chocolate. All right, I'm gonna get her some jelly beans. Uh, we do like jelly beans. I'm gonna get her some of those and then see what chocolates they have. Ooh, licorice all sorts. I grew up eating that. I actually like licorice, but I don't really like candy anymore. All right, I got Harriet some, uh, like two chocolate bars and some jelly beans mix, um, and that's it, okay. It's now it's picking up. It was empty when I got here like an hour ago, <laughs> two hours ago. Weather is beautiful though, but it was a little warm last night being in the van after being in freezing cold country for the last like three weeks. So yeah, so I do wanna eat something. What do I wanna eat? I think I'm gonna have a sushi burrito for lunch, so. They got sushi bowls, so yeah, let me see what they have. Okay, that's no one's sushi burrito. So let me go check out the yard house. I don't have any more food in my van to eat. I've eaten it all, so um, I'm kind of on that like flying home for six days kind of thing. And I don't have to be at the um, parking until 9 p.m. tonight. <laughs> and then I'll go take the shuttle over to, well, there should be a shuttle. I have to take the shuttle over to the, uh, the airport. So um, yeah, I think I'm parking at the Hampton Inn. So a lot of places, like on these apps for parking, they always have like airport parking at like three-star hotels. So um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, it should be safe, but I'm going to do the same lock-up thing that I did before in Albuquerque, where I just kind of rig the whole door together with a massive like bicycle cable. <laughs> so 
All right, there's a yard house. Let me see what their menu is. I haven't eaten here in a while. Okay, that's no on the yard house. It was $43 for a steak, and it was about $30 for a cheeseburger. <laughs> so I know I'm just gonna go back to Sonic. I, I did get a Sonic lemonade earlier, and it kind of like killed my pancreas for about 20 minutes. Uh, I took three big sips, and I was like, okay, now I'm done. Yeah, this high roller, I think it takes an hour, and you're just kind of stuck in it. It does not look appealing whatsoever. Anyway, okay, so, all right, let's go back to the van and get out of here. Okay, I'm at the library. This is Spring Valley Library. And it's so weird, I'm back in like normal civilization. I was just on this trip about two minutes ago. So I'm just gonna park over here in the sun. And yeah, so hopefully they've got Wi-Fi. I'm gonna work on uh, some videos and then at 4.30 my time, or 5 p.m. my time, I'm going to call Harriet on Zoom. And then just chill here and probably stay here until they close. And then go uh, park the van at the uh, airport parking. All right, I'm at the library and there's tons of places to sit on my computer. This is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom first. And then I'm gonna go sit and work for a little bit. Okay, I reserved a, a study room. And so over here they've got other areas, conference rooms. Yes, I reserved one of the other ones. They're not very soundproof, but Harry and I are just gonna be watching YouTube. So I'll just put my headphones on. Okay, so let me go find somewhere to sit. I have made it to the Hampton Inn and Suite, so there is security. So I am early, so I'm not entirely sure where I need to park. It looks like this parking lot is quite full. Um, but let me go in and figure it out. I need to throw my trash out as well. And then, yeah, there's a trash can right here. So let me throw my trash out. I'll go in and figure out where I need to park. I'm one hour early, so hopefully they'll let me park anyway. <laughs> so we'll see. Mm -hmm. 